Hey YouTube, Michigan Edge here. I uh, just want to do a video for you on forcing a patina on a carbon steel pocket knife. Uh, I've worked for any kind of carbon steel. Uh, the reason why you'd want to force a patina is the same reason why you'd want to treat an iron skillet or pan. It adds a, a layer of protecting uh, against bad rust, which would be red, brown rust. There's a lot of different methods of doing this and a lot of them work, but the method I like the best is using uh, lime or lemon juice. This is lime juice I purchased at the dollar store. And you can see I used about a, a third or so of the, the bottle to do what I had to do with it. Uh, but the first step is to, uh, I like using rubbing alcohol. It acts as a degreaser and doesn't harm anything. You get some rubbing alcohol and just a cotton ball. Get the cotton ball wet with alcohol and just kind of clean and degrease uh, your steel of your knife. It takes all the oil and fingerprints and stuff off it. Gets it nice and clean. Then your next step that you want to do is get a little Tupperware container. One that's uh, obviously big enough to, to get your knife in there. And one thing to keep in mind though, if you have a plastic handle knife, it's okay to fully submerge your knife into the uh, lemon or lime juice. But if you have a bone handle knife, and I learned this from experience, like a case knife or, or, a, or a stag handle, you do not want to drop that stag handle or bone handle into the uh, lemon or lime juice. The acid will actually uh, take away the finish on, over, over your bone or stag handle. But a synthetic handle like this old timer, three blade Sockman here, uh, it's, it's okay just to drop the whole thing in there. So I get the blades in a, in a way that I can just kind of drop the whole thing in there. And then I submerge it with my lime juice or lemon juice. And you just let it sit for roughly eight hours or so. Uh, it doesn't hurt. You can take the knife out and check it every hour or two if you wanted. Uh, you'll notice that even after an hour or two that your blades will start to develop that nice, beautiful black patina. After eight hours or so, roughly, uh, you take your knife out. I wipe it down really good. I kind of rinse it off under water, make sure it's really dry. And then you could use any kind of oil, but I like uh, three in one oil. It's been around for years. It's very useful and, and, uh, and very uh, cheap. I use some three in one oil. I oil my pivots. And I also put a couple drops inside where my springs sit. And I kind of work, you know, work the oil a little bit. And then I just let my knife sit overnight. And then in the morning I wipe it all off. And it's good to go. Uh, but yeah, I really love the, the, the color on here. I've seen people use uh, onions and fruits and vegetables. Or different kind of fruits and vegetables to stab the blades in there to get their... Uh, Get their color uh, but this is I like that evenly coated cover or color uh, mustard I've seen people do that on the blades and they get a blotchy type finish but yeah uh, I do this roughly two or three times a year this is my everyday carry pocket knife and I do a lot of fishing hunting I always keep my blades clean and dry but I never get any kind of bad rust on there so uh, there you have it, YouTube, uh, forcing a patina. It'll work for any kind of carbon steel. Um, feel free to uh, comment and subscribe.